Hey, happy Sunday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Now, I'm going to give you the updates on these multiple systems that are still coming to our U.S., and I'm still showing they're going to be stronger and stronger. And if you've never been here before, hello, my name is Mark. Make sure you do subscribe. I am all year long. Matter of fact, I've been talking about these monster storms coming for over two weeks now. The National Weather Service has put out some key messages for this winter storm from the 11th all the way to the 14th. A significant storm is likely to affect portions of the northern Rockies, northern plains, and upper Midwest Monday into Thursday. Now, the details of the track and timing is still uncertain, but heavy snow and strong winds are possible. This will make out for heavy snow rates, strong winds that could produce blizzards or near blizzard conditions. Plus, the heavy accumulations can produce scattered power outages, tree damage, and may impact your livestock, especially young calves and lambs. And you can see how they have it for the moderate impacts is all this orange, but you get major impacts in this red and extreme impacts in this purple. Plus, you update on all these storms that are still coming, guys. You can see how with the potential velocity anomaly, we do have a strong system coming somewhere from 11th all the way to the 13th and drag on to the 14th. This is by the GFS. You can see also we have another strong system still coming by the 15th through the 17th, and we still have another strong system coming in the late teens into the early 20s. And this one shows more promising to be a very strong storm. But you can see how it just gets stronger and stronger and stronger. And we've been knowing about this for almost a month now. So make sure you subscribe because prepared is the best way you can handle these storms. Now the difference between the GFS and the Euro, the GFS is taking us a little bit longer into the 20s for that next super big storm. But Euro is showing that we have our strong system coming from 11th to the 14th, a little bit stronger than GFS is showing. And it's confirming that we still have that next one coming around the 16th but it's dragging into the 20s, staying one big system. So I will keep you updated. Make sure you share this information, guys. Make sure you like the video. Help us get out to new people. Let them get prepared for these storms coming because the one we have now is nothing compared to what we're about to get. And we have some pretty big differences between the Euro and the GFS. You can see how with the Euro, you get this system coming through the Northwest, bringing some rainfall over a couple of inches next few days. Snowfall in the higher elevations while we get this first system through Minnesota mostly getting the snowfall as it winds up bringing severe weather overnight tonight into the early morning hours for Oklahoma and Missouri. Now as that carries over to the Ohio Valley and the Tennessee Kentucky Valley for Tuesday as we go into Wednesday Wednesday is still going to be the strongest day. As this big system surface up, it puts a lot of snowfall on a wraparound on the west side of it, but it starts putting storms in the south as well as the upper Midwest. And as it comes together on Wednesday evening, it's a big system. All this is lightning and thunderstorms all the way from Wisconsin all the way down to Louisiana. And a big difference is Euro sees this big storm brewing up by Wednesday afternoon, and GFS takes it a little bit further to the east before it has this big front line of the cold air and the warm temperatures colliding. So there is a little bit of discrepancy on whether that starts or not. So the details and the track, just like National Weather Service just said, is still unknown. GFS takes it a little bit further to the east. So that's still four days away. I just wanna stay within the first few days to be as accurate as we can, because we have multiple systems coming. But when we look at the dew points, we can see what's pretty much gonna happen. You can see how, as we go into later tonight into early morning hours, this cold front comes down right here, and we get strong dew points all the way from Oklahoma, southeastern Kansas, into Missouri, even a little bit into Illinois. But the shear is gonna be affecting Oklahoma and Missouri. Then as we go into Tuesday, these dew points are gonna raise way up by Tuesday afternoon, creating a big front line all the way from Nebraska, all the way down to Texas, and all the way into the Ohio Valley. But once you go into Tuesday and Wednesday, it raises up even more. And now you can see this front line really good all the way from Minnesota all the way down to Texas. This is bringing a lot of severe weather, a lot of thunderstorms, and a lot of large hail as well. And as it carries into Thursday, it's going to push through the Ohio Valley and go to the East Coast. All the way from the Northeast all the way to the Southeast, you're going to be having some thunderstorms and some severe weather. So as we go through this afternoon, you can see your cape, your lift, does lift all the way up. Then as you go into Tuesday, this is going to raise way up with its lift, 
bringing multiple supercell chances all the way from Texas all the way to Iowa by 9 p.m. And then this is going to raise up even more as you go into Wednesday. Now you got the whole atmosphere filled with precipitation. It's ready to burst in some storms. And Wednesday morning is going to be the biggest day. You have all this lift, big chances for severe weather all the way from Minnesota, Wisconsin, all the way down to Louisiana. And you can see with the lightning strikes as we go into this afternoon, all the way from San Antonio, all the way to Oklahoma. But then it starts getting into later night where we have to worry about some tornadoes. For Oklahoma and Missouri is where I see the biggest threat all the way to the early morning hours. Everybody else getting thunderstorms, but they're not getting the shear that they need to create the tornadoes. But you have chances for big hail, large hail, all the way to early morning hours for Oklahoma. Then as these storms carry into the Tennessee, Kentucky Valley, Ohio Valley, as we go into Monday, it's going to raise up a lot of lightning strikes. All these white lightning strikes is chances for very large hail all Monday afternoon. 5 p.m. being one of your strongest for Texas, and then it goes into Arkansas as you go into Monday afternoon. Lots of lightning strikes, big chances for large hail. Then Tuesday, this raises way up, big chances for large hail again for Texas, Oklahoma, Louisiana, Kansas, and it grows as you go into Tuesday afternoon. All the way to Iowa, getting a lot of lightning strikes, chances for hail, all the way to Wisconsin. This storm cell is just going to be brutal. And you can see right here where your upper level low, where your surface low is going to be by Wednesday morning. But Wednesday afternoon is going to bust again. The biggest day is going to be Wednesday afternoon. Look at all these lightning strikes happening Wednesday afternoon. All the way from Wisconsin, all the way to Louisiana. And we've seen this shot for over a week, and it's still showing true. Going all across Wisconsin, Ohio Valley gets into Michigan, all the way to the southeast. And then as it goes into Thursday, you get some more storms all the way from Pennsylvania and New York, all the way down to northern Florida. This is by Thursday afternoon. And it will be gone by early afternoon, by 6 or 7 p.m. But it will flare up because all your heavy dew points, definitely by 1 p.m. Because you have a lot of dew points in this whole section. Just be aware of that. Now, for today, you do have chances for wind and you have chances for hail. But today is a chance for a 2% chance for tornadoes. And your cities and states and the tornado threat for later on tonight into the early morning hours is Tulsa, Oklahoma, Springfield, Missouri, Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, Fayetteville, Arkansas, and Springdale, Arkansas. For tomorrow, tomorrow you're going to have a chance for significant hail. All the way from Dallas, Texas, Fort Worth, Texas, Arlington, Texas, Plano, Texas, and Garland, Texas. And this is going into Arkansas as well. And some chances for winds and chances for tornadoes again for tomorrow. You have a 2% chance in all this green and a 5% chance in this brown. And here's your cities and states in a tornado threat for tomorrow, for Monday. Biggest threat being Memphis, Tennessee, Little Rock, Arkansas, Fort Smith, Arkansas, Fayetteville, Arkansas, and North Little Rock, Arkansas, as well as the green, your 2%. And this is where the flash flooding is going to start. As you go Monday into Tuesday, all this green, you're in a marginal for flash flooding from these storms training the same direction for hours. Now, as you go Tuesday into Wednesday, this is where it grows a lot, guys. You got a big 5% area for severe weather in all this brown, a 15% slight risk in all this yellow, and you have a 30% moderate risk in all this red, and you have a significant chance in all this black for severe weather. A lot of that is going to be for a large hail and a lot of lightning strikes, a lot of severe weather, but it's chances for tornadoes as well. As soon as this cold front hits with all these warm temperatures and all these dew points in the atmosphere, it will create not only serious thunderstorms, but large chances for tornadoes. So your severe weather risk Tuesday going into Wednesday, your biggest chances being in Dallas, Texas, Austin, Texas, Fort Worth, Texas, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, and Kansas City, Missouri as well as your 30% moderate risk, the yellow being your slight risk, your 15%, and the brown being your 5%. You also have flash flooding risk for that day as well. You have a big marginal in all this green, and you have a slight risk in this yellow, mostly for Louisiana and western Mississippi. This is for Tuesday going into Wednesday. Now, Wednesday evening is when this is really going to burst up to the strongest this storm is going to be. And Wednesday evening going into Thursday, this is your severe weather risk. A big 15% all the way from Wisconsin, 
all the way to Tennessee and Kentucky, all the way down to Louisiana and Texas. Then you got a big 30% area in this brown for severe weather for Wednesday going into Thursday, mostly Wednesday evening. And here's your cities and states that's impacted for the severe weather for Wednesday going into Thursday. And your biggest threat being Memphis, Tennessee, St. Louis, Missouri, Shreveport, Louisiana, Little Rock, Arkansas, and Jackson, Mississippi, as well as the big 15% risk to yellow. And Wednesday going into the Thursday is when that storm stretches all the way up to Minnesota, all the way down to Louisiana with thunderstorms. And you still have a slight risk in this yellow right here from Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, a little bit of Kentucky. Also up here from Minnesota and northern Wisconsin for flash flooding. This is for Wednesday going into Thursday. Now, according to National Weather Service, is your precipitation amounts for the next three days. And all this you see up here for the Midwest, this is mostly going to be for snow, except for Wisconsin. You're going to get about an inch of rain. But southern Washington, all of Oregon, and northern California is going to be seeing one to two inches of rainfall that's going to add up. All this heavy rainfall right here is all going to be snowfall. There's all higher elevations. But it puts Portland about two inches or more. Seattle, you about an inch. But you got some heavy rainfall coming. And this also adds up to an inch of rainfall for southern Missouri, southern Illinois, southern Indiana. Some two inches for southern Indiana. Kentucky, western Kentucky and western Tennessee. From one to two plus inches of rainfall in the next three days. All down western Mississippi and central Louisiana. A couple inches of rainfall within the next three days. Now, this is going to bring major snowfall that I read to you earlier. is going to be impacting a lot of your livestock as well. And National Weather Service for the next three days is bringing major snowfall from the beginning of this storm. And it is going to add up to even more. And so far, the heavy snowfall starts tomorrow morning. And it goes all afternoon long. And it will add up to more. But so far, it's bringing southeastern Montana anywhere from 8 inches to a foot in all this pink. North Dakota and South Dakota getting the heaviest, especially North Dakota. Over a foot in this pink. Northern Minnesota, three to five inches in this blue. And Northern South Dakota, anywhere from three inches to extreme Northern South Dakota, up to a foot. As well as Wyoming, higher elevations getting more. And Colorado, you should start seeing snowfall by Wednesday morning. Now, the Euro shows almost the same amount of snowfall, a little bit lighter for Montana. But when you look at the update, you can see it did get heavier for northern Minnesota. And as you follow the track all the way through, it shows that it will be very heavy for northern Minnesota. So far, it's showing it could be over two feet. And with the winds that y'all getting from the system, this could be a lot of blizzard conditions. But so far, as we go later tonight into early tomorrow morning, we started getting a lot of winds building up. Mostly for Utah, Colorado, Arizona, and New Mexico. 50 and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. Higher elevations could see up to 70. Matter of fact, higher elevations of Colorado could see up to 90. And that's the one area that shows that. But as we go into later tonight, then we're going to start getting a 40 going into 50 miles per hour wind gusts. Mostly for Oklahoma and Kansas. And then when it comes in for Wednesday to Wednesday evening, it's bringing 40 and 50 miles of wind gusts to a lot of people. But as you go all the way to Thursday evening and Friday morning, it's bringing 50 and 60 miles per hour wind gusts to a lot of people. This hasn't been cleared yet because National Weather Service shows that your significant will be down here for your winds. And Euro is kind of the opposite of what GFS is seeing. And the GFS, it sees almost the same thing as the Euro. It shows a lot heavier for North Dakota, but it's showing the heaviest for northern Minnesota as well as Montana and the northwest. It's showing there's a chance for some snowfall for y'all. But it's been showing for a long time, and it still agrees that it's going to be at least two feet of snow for North Dakota. And the winds pick up southern like it shows with National Weather Service all the way to Wednesday evening. You start picking up 40 and 50 miles per hour wind gusts, but it comes in with the 50 all the way from Texas all the way to Iowa. And this is coming Tuesday evening into Wednesday morning. Just be aware, there's going to be a lot of winds with this storm. And you can see here with National Weather Service, you have your frost advisories in this blue, your freeze warning in this dark blue. So just be aware for your plants, guys, that's out there. But you have not only the fire with risk in this pink, your winter weather advisory in this dark blue right there, but this brown right here is all high wind warnings. And that's what GFS is seeing. It's not showing it up here like the Euro show. That you start getting these storms as brewing in all night long into the early morning hours. And it starts dissipating by 3. So definitely till 2 a.m. 
But these cells do have shear on them, and they do have a chance to get some rotation on them and get a possible tornado out of it. As you go 10, 11 o'clock tonight for northeast Oklahoma, all the way into the early morning hours when it spreads all across to 1 o'clock and 2 o'clock for southwest Missouri. And this is a nasty cell that is passing through. There is precipitation on there, and it is a chance to become a supercell. You can see that you get some long-lived cells all the way until 2 and 3 o'clock in the morning, mostly for northeastern Oklahoma. But then as you go into Tuesday morning, then it starts dragging off some more long-lived cells for southern Missouri as well. This is for the first part of the storm. Remember, the biggest day is going to be Wednesday. And so far, it's all the way from Bartlesville and Tose, Oklahoma, all the way to Joplin, Missouri, all the way to Springfield, Missouri. So y'all just be aware, later tonight into early morning hours, y'all have the best chances to get a possible tornado. So for the Northwest, you're going to be getting this rain come in later this evening, start moving in mostly for Oregon by 1 p.m. But it's going to continue to flow all afternoon long. That's why you got the heaviest precipitation is for Portland. But as it goes into later tonight, into the early morning hours, then it changes over to snow. But you also got chances for thunder snow. As you see, it's dropping some snowfall and you're getting some thunderstorms all the way into tomorrow morning as the system twirls through. And then as we go through noontime tomorrow, these storms are going to ramp up for the Ohio Valley and it will drag into the Tennessee Kentucky Valley. As you go through the afternoon, you're going to get a big line of storms that's going to travel all the way from southeastern Missouri across southern Illinois and Indiana as well. Now this will grow as it passes by Indianapolis for tomorrow afternoon. It will go into the Tennessee Kentucky Valley all the way until tomorrow late evening. And these cells that you see right here with a lot of rainfall, a lot of storms in them, these have a chances to be tornadoes as you go through your Tuesday, guys. Now, this will be a very dangerous storm, guys. I know that some people are just getting on board. Y'all been knowing about it for two weeks. Please, I pray that y'all are well prepared for this and you're just waiting for these storms to pass and see what comes next. We have multiple storms coming still. It's not just going to be one. At the same time, if I call your city out, please prepare for these storms because not only is it going to be large hail, dangerous storms, possible tornadoes, it is going to be a very serious event, and we have more coming. Please, if I called your city, please prepare. Let me give you a little words of inspiration. Enough on the gloom and doom. Let's put a little positive energy on the video, guys. 1 Corinthians chapter 2. And I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with excellency of speech or of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of God. For I determined not to know anything among you, save Jesus Christ and him crucified. And I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and of power that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Howbeit we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world that come to naught. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory which none of the princes of this world knew. For had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. But God hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit. For the Spirit searcheth all things, yes, the deep things of God. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so the things of God knoweth no man, but the spirit of God. Now we have received, not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. Which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Ghost teacheth, 
comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. But he that is spiritually judgeth all things, yet he himself is judge of no man. For who hath known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. Amen. God bless you all. Have a very blessed Sunday out there. <laughs> Hope you're having a great day. It literally is the calm before the storm, guys. But hopefully you're prepared for it. I know y'all been knowing about this a long time. Just remember, the next ones coming are stronger and stronger. All power. <laughs> All glory does go to Yahweh, God of Jacob, our Father, <laughs> forever and ever. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Have a great day today, guys. Be safe, Oklahoma and Missouri through tonight.